Okay, so we're moving on to the second ship in the lineup. Uh, this is by Player Asmos. What's the name of the ship, buddy? Tell me all about it. Uh, this is the uh, Deathclaw. It the is Death uh, my first ship. The nice. idea of this ship was I'm going to keep it small, have it pretty much. The idea is to just go in and hide in a blind spot where the turrets and everything could not hit them, yeah. and just start drilling through. <laughs> you know, but it just took forever, so. That to be my second ship, but it's got really good maneuverability, some decent weapons, and such. This is before I actually learned any of the proper tricks and such. Yes, but still, so, it's a unique design, and I like unique designs. It looks cool, man. You've used the wedges in a really inventive way around your turrets there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got a good spread pattern as well. I imagine when that focuses in, it gives a good penetration. Except for the fact that they don't do much damage, actually. Ah, because of the oh, way you set up the groupings. Bad. It's not yeah, too bad, though. When you when you look at it, it's a good concept. I reckon if you scaled it up, it probably would be quite... It wouldn't well, cause a lot of lag, craft, and it would do quite I mean, a bit of damage. They do 66 mm. to 130. Yeah. Um, so, no, the, the idea of the ship was I couldn't make it any bigger. Mm. Because then it wouldn't be fast enough to just stay in flying spots. Yeah. What's the cost of this one, do you know? Uh, hold on a second. Because it looks like a pretty cool starter ship. Uh, it's about uh, 260000 260000 It's not expensive. You could probably earn that in... No. You could earn that easy with your starting credits on your first ship build up to yep. something like this and you could hang on to this for a long time because this will kill will it kill faction block and uh you know most no. of the pirates and, no sure no. oh that's interesting i thought it would kill a faction block mm. uh, okay. i sit there and i've well done it does zero damage to a faction block oh okay well uh so what happened in what was the next ship in your design then uh the next ship is i decided you know what I'm just gonna, you know, build a large ship. This is what I thought was a super ship at one point in time. Yeah. Which I was wrong. Um, I was so wrong. But um, which ship is so that? The one, ship. the one on our left. Yes. Ah, this. this is you built the dragon. Or the land eating dragon. Let's give people one thing a little look. Yeah. About it that's really cool is yeah. you notice how it's all in the map. If I can, if it weren't for the fact that people clip through ships when they move. Yeah. I can eat people. Oh, because if people were in there, they'd die. Because if people were in there, they'd die. Yeah, so yeah. People, except that they clipped through it. Oh, uh, so it didn't work, but it was a cool idea, though. No. Yeah. That's a cool um, idea. I like the idea. And I love the I feet. These, uh, <laughs> yeah, the feet. Um, I had to put so many because I had to put, like, two here on the um, center. The yep. feet were there so that I can actually get in when I dock on a planet. Ah, so they're actually ladders as well. Yeah, the ones in the center are. Oh yeah, I see that. Excellent. It blends in quite nicely. Yeah. I like the design um, on the I... feet as well. The feet design is nice. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, it's like it was this really ugly big rectangle because I just, you know, built it to work. Yes. So, and then I tried to hide its rectangular nature. So if you look here on the top, I discovered this. Yeah. Look at that. What's that? Okay, the gray stuff in the middle, that's black hole. Yep. The black stuff, that's also black hole. If you stack corners on a flat surface, it turns pitch black. Oh, I yeah. mean, if you line up corners. Oh, right. So you end up making a little trick there. Yep. And then I tried to make the edges uneven to try and disguise its rectangular nature. Yep, yep. I and see that. Wanna, That's really cool. If you want to cool. come over here and take a look, at it actually does have a small material. Literally, it's just a hallway. But... Let's have a look. Um, uh, okay, jumping out. You're derping around. <laughs> I don't know why. Float off the floor a little bit. 
Nah, it's just derping. Did you tell a... Wait, yeah. I don't know where it is. <laughs> don't worry about it. So let's have a look. Okay. It's not your yeah. fault, it's just derping. Yeah. I, do you um, know what? This is really cool. I love the lighting in here. It's real dark, but it's yeah, not too dark. No, that's the thing. I, I, I want it to be dark. I want it to yeah. not give me an orange. Basically, these things gave me the green glow, and I'm like, that looks cool. But the yeah. core is, you know, is dark. So I'm like, you know what? I want to have this green glow into this creepy, dark, you know, focus on, you know, the core. I um, threw this stuff in front of the core. Originally, the core was on this solo pedestal. But I threw this stuff in front of the core to, um, uh, so that I can actually see out the mouth. It's pretty much my eating view, if you want to pop in there. Nah, I love it. I've got an eating view, so I love that. Yeah, it's it, eating and talking. And then you've got And that. I've got one camera on, on the, the roof. Top yeah, yeah. So, what have we got here? What have we got? Uh, so we've got 10,144 blocks, uh, sorry, 10,144 mass, 177 long, uh, 31 high, 57 wide, 31,000, sorry, 316,000 power, uh, 1.2 million energy per second. The thrust is uh, 16,963. The turning speed is 1.1, the y-axis is 1.2, and the z-axis is 1. It's got 565,000 shields with 15,233 recharge per second. So, yeah. Lovely yeah. jubbly. So, yeah, it's got two layers of hardened hole. Yep. And also, you know, I found that my... When I uh, flew it around a bit, I found that my engines weren't enough, so I added more. And then I decided to get a little fancy with my engines because they were a bit dull. Yeah. And plain. So I got, uh, so I made this. I tried to make it look like a whole bunch of tails just weaving and making this. Mmm, I noticed pattern. that. That's cool. <laughs> you got, yeah. Ah, oh, great stuff. So the name of the ship is the dragon? The man-eating dragon. The man-eating dragon, because if you're in player mode it'll and you stand there, it'll eat you. Well, yeah, who knows? The fact that you just through. Who knows? Maybe when you're landing on planets one day, you might find something to eat. Who knows? Okay, so if you could fire those guns, that'd be great. Oh, baby. That's real nice. They do around 400 damage each and there are 70 of them whoa okay right well uh, hang on a sec let me just uh, spawn something in right quick hang on yep one shot so let's have a look at the one click the one click is coming in at 23 okay now give me the three sec uh, sorry one second pulse Okay, so that's coming in at 20, 40, 60, 80, 82. So 82 from the dragon for one second. So that's really nice. Um, we're gonna do, if we do Bobby testing, that'll come in a Proving Grounds video. So thanks for watching this one, and uh, thanks very much for coming along and showing me your ship, dude. Well, I've got a third one. <laughs>